The city of St. Petersburg and the group, group pushing for a vote on the St. Pete Pier will head to mediation. That was the outcome of a hearing today that lasted less than five minutes. Our Alison Morrow is live with what this means for both sides involved in the lawsuit. Allison? Well, Winnie, it means that this Friday, the city and voteonthepeer.com will have to sit down with each other cordially and do their best to agree on how to word a question for voters about the future of the pier so that they can decide what to do with it. By the looks of City Hall's lobby, decorated with pictures of the Lens Pier, it'd be easy for visitors to think the new design's a done deal. Is it a done deal? It's absolutely not a done deal. And that's because Tom Lambden and the some 23,000 petition signatures he reports won another battle in the war over the pier's future. They said it's important to have a vote. What's the city afraid of? Let's have the vote. This morning, a judge ruled that the city of St. Petersburg must go to mediation with VoteOnThePier.com and try to agree on ballot language so voters can decide what to do with the landmark. If they win, I think it'll even be more of a waste because you're going to have a big empty spot down here on the waterfront. The current pier is set to shut down in May. If voters decide to stop the lens from taking its place and the process starts all over again, residents may have to wait another half decade for a new option. Do you start over? Do you pick three more designs? What if they don't like one of those three designs? But critics say it's too important of a decision to rush. If residents have to live with the new pier, they should have a say in who their new neighbor might be. If the voters of this city choose to preserve and refurbish, that's all we're about. Either way it goes. It's not vote for the pier. It's not vote against the pier. It's vote on the pier. Now, here's why time really matters in the debate over the pier. Every year, the city of St. Petersburg spends $2 million in subsidies and upkeeps to keep this pier going. If they cannot come to an agreement on Friday, this case heads back to a judge on Monday. And after that, the timeline is anyone's guess. We're live at the pier tonight. I'm Allison Morrow, ABC Action News.